Women forced to pay more money than men for similar products. Tonight, one program is turning the tables on the so-called pink tax. State House reporter Abby Casora shows us how women are getting some of that money back. Tampons, pads, and other feminine hygiene products considered a necessity by the Food and Drug Administration. Yet Georgia is one of 21 states that still tax period products, calling them non-essential goods. It kind of feels like, you know, they're taking mo like more out of us. Tristan Barrett says she hasn't noticed a 4% tax before. A few pennies now, but hundreds of dollars during her lifetime. To just unknowingly be cheated out of money for no reason, all because, you know, I bleed once a month. The tampon tax back coalition made up of seven companies like Diva, Lola, and Atlanta-based Honey Pot are offering their customers a way to get their money back. If you live in a state with a tax on their products, keep your receipt, send them a text, then a copy of your receipt. They'll reimburse the taxes you paid, essentially covering the cost. Barrett says that more brands should join them. And that's one of the best things that women can actually probably have right now. The taxes still go to the state. Georgia collects six to nine million dollars on the tax every year. Which is, by the way, less than 0.01% of the state budget. State Senator Nabila Islam Parks is hoping the state will get rid of the tax altogether. Last year, she presented a bill to remove the period product tax. She says she has both Democrat and Republican supporters. It shouldn't be up to corporations to provide that relief when the state of Georgia has the power to do it themselves. The tampon tax back website says that you'll receive your refund within two days of submitting your receipt. The women I spoke with today say that they're excited to know that this program is out there. In Duluth, I'm Abby Kasoris.